Hello, my friends, and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. A friend, obviously, is one that would be with you, you know, in uh, times of need. So uh, if you are in, you know, have a problem and you can call a friend and a friend will come and actively help you, now that's a friend. A friend can also uh, help you with an advice, but usually friends are... Uh, uh, show their true color when they actively support you, when they get involved with you, they stick their neck out and they take risks to help you. Now that's a friend. Uh, well, people might say that they are your friends, but when you need them, they might not be able to help you or they might not be willing to help you. Now it depends on the circumstances. We have here South Africa. We have South Africa, we have Russia, and we have United States. South Africa is part of BRICS, correct? Correct. Now, you can't say that Af South Africa is a friend of Russia. It's just involved in this organization, economic organization, you know, of uh, these developing countries. With Brazil, India, China, Russia, and obviously uh, South Africa. Now, what happens? You know uh, what happened. You know uh, Russia is uh, fighting NATO in Ukraine and the uh, United States and the uh, guys in, on, his, on their side imposed all kinds of sanctions on Russia. The problem is, if I have a problem with you uh, and I impose sanctions on you, I uh, don't expect anybody else to uh, you know, obey by my sanctions. Well, guess what? I push it a little bit further. I do expect everybody else to obey by my, and follow my sanctions of you. Otherwise, you guys are going to get a bloody nose. So that's how it's in, uh, in, uh, in the world. That's how things are uh, run. Not by, you know, order, discipline, international law. No, I impose sanctions on you. Nobody touches that carcass un until I take care of it. And after I'm done with that, then you can do whatever you want, you know, scavengers. The problem is you have people that say, you know what, we're sick of being treated like this. We're sick of uh, seeing you bullying everybody around and we're not going to listen to you. We're going to trade with Russia. We're going to do whatever we want to do with Russia because we are an independent sovereign country. We're not your vassal state. You're like your little guys in Europe. Okay. United States didn't like that one bit. So let's see what's happening here. I just made this little introduction so you kind of know what's going on, who's who, what's what. This article comes from an uh, Arab media outlet. It's Al Mayadin. And uh, this is the title. South Africa accept docking of Russian ship despite U.S. warnings. U.S., United States of America, in its uh, diplomacy uh, toolbox has four tools. Four. So when it opens the toolbox, it takes the first one, and they're all in the crescendo, right? If the first one doesn't work, it gets the second one, the third one, and the fourth one. And the fourth one should work. So, always. Why? Because you got the biggest, uh, you know what I mean? So, first one is threats. South Africa accepts docking of Russian ship despite U.S. warnings. All right. Warning meaning... Right? Threats. That's the first one. When that doesn't work, becomes blackmail. Ah, you did that? You, you're going to do that? I'm going to do this to you? It's a threat with a blackmail. I will hurt you economically. I will not give you that. I will take that away from you. I will make you do what I want you to do for me. That's the second uh, tool in the United States. is very narrow tool set of tools that it has nowadays. It used to have the whole thing, you know, negotiation, discussions, obviously, you know, diplomacy, but it realized we don't need all those because we got this and this always wins. Okay, I take it. Like the lion on the savannah comes over and takes whatever is over there. What are you going to do? Wait your turn. Wait for your turn. So in this case, so the first one is threats uh, or warnings. The second one, second one is blackmail, right? The third one is a fast, beautiful regime change. And the fourth one is outright, oh, human rights are not respected over there. A genocide occurs in your country. You are over there to blame. Hey, 
that group calls help from us. Let's go. Pure invasion. And there, there it is. Right? And usually the American invasions are successful in destroying a country. Not winning. Destroying your country that you will not recover in generations. Anyway, so let's see what's going on here. On January 7, Thandi Modize, South Africa's Minister of Defense and military veterans, criticized the U.S. for attempting to intimidate African nations <coughs> into not doing business with Russia. Well, that's uh, always they do this, so it's not something that, uh, you know, uh, it's a surprise for some. The Maritime Executive reported on Tuesday that the acceptance of a port call by a sanctioned Russian uh, freighter has raised concerns among U.S. officials. Well, I think the world has a lot of concerns with uh, U.S.'s actions in Venezuela, in Syria, in other areas. But what can you do? Big? No. Zip it, basically, right? So here it is. The Russian Roro freighter Lady R is a ship owned by sanctioned Russian ship owner Transmore Flot, which was recently rebranded as MG Flot. It is one of the seven companies that were sanctioned by the U.S. Treasury in May 2022 due to the conflict in Ukraine. So you see, the conflict is between, uh, supposedly, Russia and Ukraine. United States inserted itself in the equation without being asked, but because they are defenders, the defenders of truth and love and democracy and justice, they said, we got to be over there. Let me put my cape. Let's go. Okay, over the Atlantic, straight in Ukraine. In the meantime, got the other weasels and hey, come on, move, wake up, lazy. All right. So they got Germany, Great Britain, who was already, you know, coming. I'm coming, I'm coming, boss, I'm on. Okay, the rest was like, oh shit, here we go again, the crazies, I at it again. So they went over there, they did what they did, they imposed sanctions on those guys, and now they expect, hey, wait a second, I imposed sanctions on Russia. Everybody else should follow, uh, you, uh, no, obey my, my sanctions. No, you're not United Nation, you're just a country, just another country. Oh, my bad. You got this very big and very good. Okay, now we're going to do it. So it's about how much you can challenge this guy that works by the force, brute force and threats, blackmail and uh, regime change. How much can you withstand this blow? That's basically what it is. So when you hear about these guys, oh, we want this, you impose sanctions. Some countries might disagree with that. And that's between, that's between you guys. I don't have to participate in that. Like uh, India said, Jay Shankar, the foreign minister of India. We don't, uh, we have our own interests, you have your own interests. We are not in an alliance here, so beat it. Anyway, but even though the firm has black, was blacklisted, anyway, lady, but even though the firm was blacklisted, Lady R continued its train activities and made several port calls across the world, including Alexandria, Kolkata, and Kochi. Now, Blacklisted by who? Not by uh, South Africa. The Wall Street Journal reported the visit of the Lady R ship caused strained relations between Washington and Pretoria. Okay. The newspaper quoted a senior U.S. official, official as he expressed Washington's concerns about the claimed support provided by the South African armed forces to the Russian ship, including allowing, allowing it to enter and transport cargo at a naval base. They still make uh, business. What do you want? Oh, you don't want them to make business. And that's how you isolate someone, right? Yeah, that's beautiful. Beautiful. According to the U.S. official, when the U.S. states learned last November that Lady R was heading to South Africa, the U.S. Embassy alerted the South African government to the fact that the ship was under sanctions. Under your sanction, sanctions, not my country's sanctions. Bye-bye. Never come back. But hey, the official uh, stated at the time that the embassy had not received any response to its warning about the ship from the South African government. On January 7th, according to Eyewitness News, 
Tendi Modise, South Africa's Minister of Defense and Military Veterans, criticized the U.S. for attempting to intimidate African nations into not doing business with Russia. According to Modise, African nations should reject the Countering Malign Russian Activities in Africa Act, which also claimed to penalize any African companies or individuals conducting business with Russia. So the U.S. made a little bit uh, uh, act again for themselves and they issued it to the rest of the world like they're the boss because they are the boss i told you the big club we cannot be bullied simply because we are a growing economy we have national interest we have regional interest so we must make sure we stand our ground where it counts end quote you hear that stand our ground where it counts she also responded oh she's a woman she also responded to ruben brigti Brigati, the U.S. ambassador to South Africa who had criticized her and her 2022 travel to Russia for a conference on international security. Again, and I'm quoting, we do not interfere with their relationships with Mexico. We have our interest. We make our comments. We, can, um, we cannot instruct the minister to in another country. Modisa said, so basically, we don't deal with your shit, don't deal with us. Yeah, but you think you're equal, that's a problem. You're not, they don't see you as equal. Never see you as, and unless you have this. And when you have this, then they will try to destroy you like it's happening right now with Russia. And China is next. And India will get it if it's after that, if it keeps uh, being independent. It doesn't join the little weasel bottom feeding club. South Africa is one of the few nations with, uh, which have refused to support Western sanctions against Russia. Yeah, who the hell are you? You're some other countries. Bye-bye. So you lose, you lose sight of how things really are. Like, oh, you guys impose sanctions. Okay, I don't even want to hear about it. Why would I want to hear? I don't care. It's your thing. My thing is right here. I don't have anything with you. Bye-bye. Anyway, South African President Cyril Ramposa, a government has often been criticized for refusing to condemn Moscow's special major operation in Ukraine. Because uh, some countries refuse something, the other ones, uh, uh, you know, uh, don't refuse to do the kind of things. This is the real diversity that we talked about, remember? Not the racial diversity that we promote here, or this ethnic diversity, or this diversity, or that diversity. Not that. Initially, when I talk about diversity, it was the diversity of thought, of ideas. Why? Because that, that brings innovation, inventions. So, you know, that's how it is. But these guys did not mean that at all. They don't like diversity when it's about uh, doing whatever they want to do. They want unanimity. Unanimity, that's what they like. You look at the European Union, how they try to strangle uh, Hungary or any other country who has a little bit, some questions about it. They're, you are not uh, democratic anymore. You're just uh, you're Orban. You're just a dictator. R you don't want to receive money from the European Union anymore. So, uh, you know, things like this. Again, blackmail. I don't give you money if you don't do what I tell you. Well, screw you. The problem is they got involved in the European Union. Well, they got you. What you can do? Get the fuck out. And you get out, they're going to do the same thing they did to, to Russia right now. Or to Serbia and all that. They try to strangle you like this economically. Anyway, that's how an independent country speaks, or at least thinks that is independent. We'll see what uh, the um, American uh, leadership's response would be. We already know this, that was the first uh, tool. We'll see if it's going to go to the second one, or, or they're going to jump to the third one immediately. Not the fourth one, they're too far, but anyway, the third one is always A-OK. -okay. Why? Because you always have groups in a society, they are unhappy with something. And then you got your little... Uh, uh, dormant cells and you just wake up guys puck, 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 puck. let's go let's be upset because I don't know today is Wednesday or something or I don't know Ramposa did something or we don't like that inflation and so on and then you have the big uprising then if you have your guys in the military and your security forces <claps> slam dunks boom thank you very much for being with me again today stay strong stay smart look for the truth and be just